Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be going over the Shinobi Striker Dictionary, so let's get right into it. So this is a guide for beginners, people just getting into the game, maybe watching some YouTube videos and you don't always know what people are talking about, or if you just started playing with teammates on the mic and you're not sure what everybody is talking about, so this guide is for you. Uh, it probably won't be very helpful for veteran players who have been around in the game for a long time. So some of these terms are Shinobi Striker specific, but others are more general with games that are similar to Shinobi Striker, like other shooters or team-based games that have different roles. So yeah, we'll just go, we'll just, we we'll just talk about everything here. Um, this might be a multi-part video because there's a bunch of different terms. We'll just see how long this takes. Okay, so the first one is one shot. Uh, so this one is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically when you have a, a, move, a setup that you can defeat your opponent in basically one shot, but it's not really just a single attack. It's usually like there's some kind of setup and uh, then you use another attack and then that that takes away all their life people use that this term loosely like they to for, to talk about things that take away almost all your life nowadays and people use it as like a uh, clickbait sort of thing so uh, it, the the term is really broad now but it basically means like you have a setup and then you do another attack and that takes a massive amount of damage now similar to that but not quite the same is a TOD which stands for touch of death so this is also something that is like inescapable where you can defeat your opponent, but it just means that it's basically a combo where as soon as you touch your opponent, they can't escape from it and you can defeat them without them uh, being able to get out of the combo. So you, you can start with their full health and you get the first part of the combo off and if you're successful, then they'll end up dying by the end of the combo. So it's not a one shot, but it works the same way where you can't you can't escape it once you once once they start it but it requires more skill than a one shot usually the next one is dot this stands for damage over time uh, so this is usually in shinobi striker this has to do with like burn damage where you you get caught on fire and then you your health goes down slowly over time so this is different from burst damage which is like just doing a bunch of damage with a certain move like a high damage move such as majestic destroyer flame but then that also does burn damage on top of the burst damage uh, a one shot is an example of like a extreme burst damage you might hear attack and range types referred to as the dps classes this stands for damage per second it just means that they're able to output the most damage in the shortest amount of time and the next one is aoe so this stands for area of effect these are moves that do damage around you, your character, like Twin Impact. A lot of the ultimates are also area of effect, so this just means like they, the damage is done in a large area, not like focused on a single target. Okay, so the term, the term cap can mean lots of different things. It's just short for capture. Uh, you can talk about capturing a base or capping a flag uh, on flag mode, so it just depends on like what game mode you're on. And then back cap is specific to base battle. It means like going and getting the opponent's home base. Uh, usually it's like sneaking back there to capture their base when pe nobody's paying attention. And then when someone says triple cap, it just means that you you or the opponent has have captured all three bases in base mode. And then reset can mean a, a couple different things. So you can reset a base as somebody has taken your base and you knock them off of it and then you step on it, then it will reset like the, the progress that they've made. So we call that a reset. Um, but we can also use the, and that can also happen with the flag. If somebody's about to take the flag and you knock them off and step on it, then it will reset their progress uh, from their from their cap. But people also use the word reset to talk about resetting the combo counter. So the combo counter is basically how many times you can hit your opponent before they fall down, and like in, before it's a hard knock, so that you can't continue the combo anymore. But there are some jutsu and some ways that you can reset the combo counter. Uh, for example, a wall splat can reset the combo counter. So if you hit your opponent against the wall and then you start comboing them again, their combo counter will be reset so you can hit them more as many times as you would have been able to hit them the first time. Okay, so we used a, a couple of different terms right there. So let's look at uh, the term wall splat. Uh, so this is a mechanic in the game, my least favorite mechanic in the whole game, where if you if you get hit by, if you get knocked backwards and you run into a wall, then you're then your character will splat onto the wall and then they'll fall down and they'll be they'll be hard knocked and this can cause pitfalls but it can also set you up to get comboed even further so it's um it's really crucial if you get wall splat and it's, it can be really helpful for someone who's trying to continue a combo and then another term i used there was hard knock 
Uh, so there's there's hard knock and soft knock. So uh, a soft knock is when you get knocked back, like you get knocked into the air, but you can still get hit while you're doing uh, while you're in a soft knock animation, and you can also like recover from from the soft knock by just doing a dash. But a hard knock is a mechanic in the game that they use so that you cannot get infinitely comboed, pretty much. Uh, so this, this when you get hard knocked, you fall to the ground and you can't be hit. You have a certain amount of invincibility frame. So we'll talk about high frames in a second too. Unless you have some kind of way to reset the combo counter, like maybe using flame lightning to pull you back up or universal pull, then they won't be able to continue to combo you after you get hard knocked. Uh, this can also cause you to pitfall if you don't have a sub. I think you can sub out of a hard knock but you can't dash out of it like you can with the soft knock. Oh yeah, and then so iframes are just invincibility frames. This is a common term in lots of fighting games. It's just like the moments where you're invincible, like maybe when you're starting to move or when you get knocked down or when you're doing like a certain ultimates will give you iframes. So it just means like you can't be hurt no matter what somebody is doing. Uh, speaking of the moves, we have different terms for different types of uh, techniques that you can use in the game. So when somebody says jutsu, that can re re refer to anything in the game like any of the moves usually when someone says ninjutsu they mean like your special moves that are on the r1 and l1 buttons or whatever the equivalent is on your platform and then the secret technique which is like the the biggest move that everybody has people would usually refer to that as an ultimate or an ult a sub or a substitution is the clone jutsu that you can use to escape from combos or to get out of like get out of like a hard knock or a soft knock or anything like that people usually just refer to them as subs. And then sub block is when somebody is able to stop you from being able to sub. There are certain moves that can lock your substitution and the heavy attack of all attack types will, will also lock your sub. Super armor is anything that allows you to, to get hit but not cause you to flinch. Like moves like demon hunter and even the heavy attack of defense types, these moves have super armor. So you can just kind of bear, bulldoze through different different moves, but you'll still take damage, but you, you just won't get knocked out of your animations. And then a breaker is anything that breaks something, like we have guard breakers, like sand shield and water pillar breakers, uh, Susano armor breakers now, so anything, any technique that you can use to break, to instantly break somebody's guard or some kind of shield that they have. The term meta refers to the current state of the game, like the best moves that the best players use usually uh, but it can also be about it doesn't also it doesn't always have to be about like the competitive scene there's a meta in casual play and then there's like a different meta in the competitive scene but it's just the moves that are kind of considered to be the best and that if you really want to win everybody knows that these are the moves that you that you should be using uh, so something that's meta changing is something that can either replace a move that was originally part of the meta or it can be something that's just as good as something that's in the current meta a sweat is <laughs> a sweat is somebody who is really trying super hard in the game and um, they usually are running all the meta moves and you can tell that they spend a lot of time playing the game and that they are that that they're trying so hard that they're basically sweated so people call it that uh, when you say sweaty it just means like they're you're doing somebody's doing something that's similar to what sweats do cheese is anything in the game that is being exploited you're using some kind of series of techniques or abilities that clearly the devs don't realize work together in a way that make them almost impossible to counter or to stop so the, probably the biggest cheese in Shinobi Striker, in the history of Shinobi Striker, is the Asuma Knuckle Knives that can get you into an infinite that's super easy to do. And the devs are aware of it because they keep they keep changing them, but they but the the infinite still works. So that, that's one of the biggest examples of cheese. But just certain builds can be cheesy, like running the Moon Sword on base with certain jutsu. So it's just like a combination of stuff that works in a way that is clearly not, not the way the game was intended to be played and the devs just don't really realize that it's, a, it's such a problem. So when somebody's being cheesy, they're just using something like that. Uh, a breadstick is a new player in the game, especially a level, a tier one bronze player uh, because, their, because their rank looks like a, a, just a single breadstick. People sometimes use the term breadstick to refer to all bronze players or just like a way to talk about new players in general. 
And then a plat is short for platinum. It's the people who are above level 15. And now there's diamond. So that's people that are above level 20. And usually plats and diamonds are also sweats, but not all the time though. So solo queue is when you play the game alone, but you're playing the team based game modes, but you just don't have any other people that you know uh, on your team. And you just go in and just get randomly put onto a team. Uh, so a random is somebody who is solo queuing. So you might be in a, a team of three people that you know, and then like the, the fourth person on your team would be considered a random. So a stack is like people who are grouped up together that know each other and they came into the match together. So there could be like a four stack, which means like all four players on the team, they already know each other and they already have a pre-made team set up. Uh, so there could be like a two stack or a three stack or a four stack. A modder is somebody who is cheating in some way to modify the game in like in a legal way. So there are different types of modders. Usually when we say hacker, you're t we're talking about somebody who is cheating in a match by using like uh, jutsu that aren't supposed to be on that class or using ultimates over and over again like they're just regular ninjutsu. And then there are also modders who just like mod to get like all the clothing items and like new items that haven't come out yet. So usually those ones are called cosmetic modders or we can call them early access. Like people who a lot of content creators mod just to get like the new items so that they can showcase them before they come out so people can see what's going to be coming out soon. Okay, so yeah, that's all I got for this one. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of these that I talked about and also let me know if there's any other w terms in Shinobi Striker that might be confusing to new players. Uh, comment below so I can make a part two of this to help out all the new players. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.